Well, after discussing the concept of the superposition theorem, let's do some exercises. We are not emphasizing the convenience of the superposition theorem for solving circuits. Instead, we will tell you how to use the superposition theorem. For such a simple circuit, it's extravagant to use the superposition theorem. Suppose this is a reference node. By applying the node voltage method, we get that 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4 times u equals 10 over 6 minus 4. Then we solve u immediately, but we need to practice the superposition theorem here. If the voltage source takes effect alone and the current source doesn't, the corresponding circuit is like this. U prime is the voltage of the 4 ohm resistor, which is 4 volts. If the current source takes effect alone and the voltage source doesn't, then this is a current divider circuit. According to the current division equation, we get the circuit is 4 times 0 0.6 equals 2.4 ampere. Then we get U double prime is minus 4 times 2.4 equals minus 9.6 volts. Then we know that U equals 4 minus 9.6 equals minus 5.6 volts. This is exercise 1. Now we use the superposition theorem to solve exercise 2. It's similar to the first circuit we discussed since it has a current controlled voltage source. According to the superposition theorem, when the voltage source takes effect alone and the current source takes no effect, the circuit is like this. Obviously, the voltage here is 4 volts, but U prime isn't equal to 4 volts since there's a current controlled voltage source. We need to calculate the current. It's very simple. The current is 1 ampere, so it's 10 volts. U prime equals minus 10 plus 4 equals minus 6 volts. When the current source takes effect alone and the voltage source takes no effect, the equivalent circuit is like this. So what's I1? Seeing from the left side of the circuit, the current controlled voltage source has no effect. The series connection of any element and the current source is equivalent to the current source for the external circuit. So seeing from the left side, this is a 4 ampere current source, and this is a current divider circuit. I1 equals minus 0 0.4 times 4 equals minus 1.6 ampere. The voltage is minus 16 volts. Then we get U double prime equals minus minus 16 volts minus 6 times minus 1.6. The minus sign here is due to the reference direction of the dependent source. The minus 16 is the voltage here. The minus sign here is due to the reference direction of the resistor. The minus 1.6 is the current here. U double prime equals 25.6 volts. And the two components together, we get U equals 25.6 minus 6 equals 19.6 volts. You can check the result by supposing this is a reference node and this Node voltage is U1 and uh, solving U1 with the uh, node voltage method.